Well, hi folks, Scott Kelby here. And yesterday I posted this image and ever since I posted this poster uh, that I made for the owner of an Audi R8, I shot their R8 and I put this poster together. Ever since I posted this uh, yesterday, people have been asking, you did that in a Lightroom? How did you do that in Lightroom? I didn't know Lightroom could do that. So I thought I would do a very quick tutorial to show you how incredibly easy this is to do in Lightroom. I did the whole first part in Lightroom and I added the text later in Photoshop and we'll do both. So first let's jump over to Lightroom. So what you do is you take the images that you want to use and I wanted to use these nine images. So these are the nine images that I wanted to use. Select them all and then we're going to head over to the print module inside of Lightroom. So we'll click over Lightroom. Now I'm using Lightroom 5 public beta but you can also use, you know, um, you can use the uh, Lightroom 4 does the exact same thing. Lightroom 3 does the exact same thing. Lightroom 2 I think even did it. So what you're going to do is two things. First pick the size of the page you want to print on. Now this poster is pretty large. I made this poster 24 by 30. So you go to paper size, go to manage custom sizes and just type in 24 by 30 and uh, there you go. And we'll click OK. So that's the first thing is choosing the paper. The second is go to the layout style and make sure that you've chosen single image slash contact sheet because what we're really doing is creating a custom contact sheet. The whole layout is done over here in the layout panel. So you go to the layout panel. I put the same amount of space on the left side. So the margins two and a half inches from the left two and a half inches from the right, two and a half inches from the top. But because I knew I wanted to add my, the owner's name and I wanted to add my logo and all that stuff, that gets added down below. I wanted to leave lots of space. So I added a little over seven inches at the bottom. Now, where you create the grid is where it says page grid. You see it says rows and columns. Watch, we're gonna add three rows, one, two, three. Then we're gonna add three columns. It's set to one, you're gonna go up to two, three. Now the spacing is a little funky, right? But that's what the cell spacing here is for. So we can control the vertical spacing or the horizontal spacing or both. Now, because I have it set to keep square, I wanted these all to be square. Because I have them set to keep square, the spacing moves together. And so we can kind of figure out how we want them. And you can actually adjust this by moving. If you want to adjust the uh, I guess it would be the vertical space. You can move the bottom up and down a little bit. And I kind of have the spacing looks about close there, maybe a little more. There we go. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, you spend more time picking out which ones go in which corner. So if you wanted to rearrange these, what you can do is just you grab one, move it to a new location, and then select it that way. Or I'm just going to undo that. I liked it the way it was. But there's the the ones. Now, once you've gotten that far and you've got the page laid out the way you like it, just go to print to file. We'll go to print to file. It brings up this image and we'll call this test poster 2. So you're going to name the file. We're saving it as a JPEG. And it saves it as a high resolution JPEG. Here's up in the left corner. You can see it doesn't take very long to put the page together. Then we're just going to open it in Photoshop. Let's go to Photoshop. We're going to open up that test poster two we just created. Let's hit open. It takes a minute. It's a very high resolution file. Then we're going to just add our text. I'll get the type tool in Photoshop. We'll add our text. Audi R8. Then we're going to add a pipe. That is a shift backslash. It makes that little straight line. And then we'll give the owner's name. Kind of slide that into position where you want it. And that's maybe a little big. All right, and I created space between the letters by highlighting them. Using option right arrow makes more space between the letters. Option left arrow makes less space between the letters. We'll add lots of nice space so it looks very elegant. And then lastly, I went and grabbed my signature nameplate here. Select all, copy, and I'm just gonna copy and paste it over into that poster and put it down bottom like that. And then to make sure that everything lines up, you just select all three. Click on the little center icon right up there to center everything up. Bang, it's centered and you're done. That's it guys, very, very easy. Lightroom makes it super simple, thankfully, because if I had to do this in Photoshop and that's what I used to do in the old days, you had to measure everything up and line everything up and it was kind of a pain. It took you like 15 minutes, but now it's super easy. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.